Hey guys, it's Christina Etheridge with leadsandleverage.com. I am on Facebook Live again today, so hopefully you're getting the notifications in your live stream. If you are watching this in replay, make sure you go up here and click on live subscribe as I'm adjusting all this and click on live subscribe so that you can be notified. And if you're still not getting notified and you clicked on live subscribe, make sure you are click like on our page and you're subscribed to the events. So um, if you go to events, you can subscribe to events because I'm trying to announce most of these live subscribe events. Um, on Facebook so that everyone can see them. I'm gonna double check on the page to make sure it's live. Share it in the groups. If it is, yep, it is live. And I am there and live. <laughs> so I just wanna make sure. So I am Christina with leadsandleverage.com and today I want to talk a little bit about, let me move this over so I can see it. I've got my screen behind you. <laughs> you don't know that. Um, so today I wanna to talk a little bit about something that um, most agents uh, think they know a lot about or um, think it's pointless or isn't worth it or whatever. Basically, I wanna let you in on a little secret on how you can convert people to you, how you can create no like and trust relationships with you, how you can create loyalty from buyers or sellers with you before you have ever talked to them on the phone, um, before you've ever met them face to face, before you've ever run into them anywhere. And I wanna talk a little bit about that because it's, it's back into the whole blogging idea and people, especially agents, tend to resist blogging um, and understandably so because we don't know the value. We don't really um, have any perspective on how's it really going to change anything. So um, one of the big things that is out there um, and I cannot remember the stat now. I was at NARTEC Edge a couple weeks ago um, speaking at NARTEC Edge and one of the other speakers um, shared a statistic that was huge and it was talking about how a businesses that have an active engaged blog this is businesses in all industries um is uh, some hundred four hundred and seventy percent more or four hundred and some percent or something a lot huge an astronomical number more leads coming in than a business who doesn't it's huge and i will find that stat for you guys so but here's the thing, some um, people blog, some agents blog, but they actually don't understand anything really belong beyond the whole idea of blogging with keywords, stuffing, you know, stuffing keywords in it, or exchanging links, or um, blogging your socks off, basically blogging every day until you're like crazy, which I would be crazy after two days. So um, blogging every day until that happens, um, or doing, uh, just all kinds of different things. So we have all these, we hear all these things like our blog posts that need to be certain lengths or uh, we need to blog this many times or um, we need to put this many keywords in it. We hear all this stuff and we're just like frozen in the spotlight. And we're just like a deer in the headlights because it's just crazy. Um, there are all kinds of little pieces and tactics out, that are out there. But the problem is, is that those pieces of those tactics and stuff don't work if you're not actually blogging. So you need to actually be blogging first and then you can implement some of those things as you go along. But here's the big, and it's not really a big secret, but in a sense, it's kind of a secret because agents don't do it. The, the best way, if you want more clients before they actually call you on the phone, you need to figure out who your client is, and I said client, plural, and you need to answer their questions. So um, you guys, they're not asking, uh, clients are not asking to see houses for sale. I mean, not not in general, that's not their questions that they really have. Do you know why they're not? Th that's not their questions? It's because they can go online and find houses anywhere. Now, that does not mean you shouldn't be doing other tactics and things like that. But when you're blogging, when you're blogging, you're working on relationship building. And I think sometimes that we wanna just, um, set aside the whole idea of, of getting to know people and just boom, let's just process through the transactions. But then we're setting ourselves up for this whole really 
always, always, always have to be generating, 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 generating more and more and more and more and more, and more leads all the time. And you need to be generating leads. That's a given. However, um, the, the thing is, is that you can start building relationships through your blog, through email marketing. You can build relationships so that when you tell them that that Zestimate that they got on their house is wildly inaccurate, they're going to believe you. They're going to listen to you. So many of us on our blogs, what we do is we throw out stats um, and they can get stats anywhere. But then we don't even throw out stats that are in perspective, that are contextual for them. We share like the Case Shiller report and it says, oh, we're heading for a uh, housing showdown or a housing meltdown or whatever. And you're in, you know, the Portland market where there's not enough inventory and people are like crazy. It's like a hundred percent. It's just crazy. And you're like, uh, I don't see this. Or you're in another market that's just always been very, very, very consistent. You always have a two to 3% rise, even through the peaks and valleys of every other market in the rest of the country, you're consistent over time. So that Case Shiller report that talks about and, and uses the 20 top 20 markets and stuff is going to be completely out of perspective. But yet we're sharing that kind of stuff as, as blog posts, because we think that's what we're supposed to do. So what you need to do is figure out what your um, ideal client or what your, what your prospect is actually struggling with. What are they struggling with? Um, they're not struggling with finding homes, you know, unless you just have a bad market. Um, I mean, not a bad market, but in their particular market and what they're looking for, there's not a lot of homes. Um, and in that case, then what, what does that struggle look like for the people and what are solutions? You know, does that mean if it's a really tight market for your ideal client, um, what are some things that they can do to be on it? Do they need to um, be on call, like literally on call, like a doctor um, with you so that the minute something becomes available or you have your ear to the wall, you can hear stuff or ear to the ground, you can hear stuff um, that you can be right onto them. What kind of things do they need to have prepared? A lot of people um, miss out and we know this, they miss out on home sales or the homes that they love because they don't get pre-qualified but they don't believe you that they need to be pre-qualified because they're hearing all of this stuff everywhere else. So what are some, some things that you can teach over time on your blog that will change their perspective, that will give them per the perspective of, okay, this person actually knows what they're talking about and I trust this person and that's who I want to help me with my real estate sale because I don't want to miss out on or my real estate buy because I don't want to miss out on XYZ. So here's the, I mean, the secret guys is really diving deep into your ideal client. It's called your avatar and doing an, an avatar deep dive, going deep and figuring out what all of these pain points are in there. I mean, sometimes you get clients that you can't figure out based on what they've told you of their lifestyle or some of their concerns, why are they looking at houses over here and this? Because that's just going to be a complete dichotomy to what they're actually underlying needing or wanting. So when you know your person really well, then you can solve their problems. And guys, getting a home value is not a problem. The consumer does not see that in their or think that in their minds because, um, yeah, Zestimates suck. They're bad. They're off. But the consumer thinks that the problem's already solved. They really do. And until you've proved, you have proven trustworthy to them, they're not gonna listen to you. So you wanna prove trustworthy to them before they'll listen to you. Um, that's one, looking for houses. Really, honestly, that's pretty much solved as well too. Yes, I know that ZRT, ZillowRealtor.com and Truly, I know they don't have all of the listings and I know that everything's not accurate but the consumer doesn't care because for the most part, they get to see what they wanna see. So they're happy. So in their mind, the problem's solved, even though the problem really isn't solved. What you need to do is go deeper, deeper with them. Build a relationship with them in your blog posts, have conversations with them. And this, this whole thing, um, applies in person, it applies via email, it applies online, it applies on Facebook, it applies everywhere. You need to be having a conversation exactly like what I'm doing right here on Facebook Live. You guys keep asking me, what do I do? Why isn't this working? How do I do this? So guess what I'm doing? 
one of the avenues that I'm having a conversation with you is right here on Facebook live stream. So I'm utilizing, I'm leveraging these ways to have conversations with you um, and coming in and helping teach key points to things. Now, as you know, these are just a tiny, each of these live Facebook live streams are just tiny little things in the whole grand scheme of thing, but they're pivotal because they are questions that you're asking me. And so I'm trying to answer the questions and by doing that, we're building a relationship. Some of you are gonna go, oh heck no, I don't like the way she looks, I don't like the way she talks, uh, whatever, and you're going to leave. That's okay, and as a real, real estate agent, that is what you want. You want people to go away who just do not resonate with you, because if they don't do it now, in the videos or on your blog posts or whatever, they're gonna do it after you've shown them 10 houses. <laughs> And then you're going to be pissed that you wasted that time with someone who really never really connected with you in the first place. So build relationships with people and let them choose to leave before you've wasted your valuable one-on-one -on -one time with them. You want to save that for people who really want to be with you, who really want to work with you, who really want to interact with you. So that's where you want to start building those relationships so that people can say, oh yeah, I totally... Oh yeah, that makes sense. What she's saying or he's saying, that makes sense. Yeah, you're right. I was listening to that, but that's not going to work for me. So, um, and that's what I'm trying to teach you guys. I'm doing the exact same thing. I did it in real estate. I'm doing it here on Leads and Leverage. So one of the things <laughs> that agents like to do a lot of is keyword stuffing. So we write this blog post or we find whatever and we write this blog post and we make sure to put our city, state, homes for sale, and our city state, houses for sale, and our city state, whatever, 50 times in a 500 word blog post. So we have like three other words in the post. So um, avoid keyword stuffing. The consumer doesn't wanna read that. They, they wanna read solutions to their problems, you guys. So, um, oh, <laughs> Catherine. So Catherine says, most of your live streams look like you were sitting in your car. Yes, a lot of times if I'm waiting, one of my sons is in Taekwondo, so guess what I do? Um, I do live streams uh, right outside his dojang while he's in Taekwondo. So those are in my car. But how how did you get this background? This background is actually, I'm gonna take you, you guys are on a tripod. This background is actually something I ordered off of Amazon. And I don't know if you can see that it's a, um, I don't know if I can move it without with one hand. Sorry guys, just a minute. But I'm gonna show you, it's a wall screen. See, I'm moving it and you can see the different panels. Um, I can't see very well with this. See the different panels between here? So I ordered that off Amazon and I just put it right behind me. I'm sitting at my desk today. I put it right behind me and that's what I use. So it's a photo wall screen mural thing. And actually right behind that is my big huge planner calendar. So I like to have this behind there because it looks messy. I mean, like if you just look at my planner calendar, see that it's that and that extends the whole length. <laughs> so I like to have it. So now that I made you guys dizzy moving you around. Um, so yeah, Catherine, that's what I do. So a lot of times I like to do live streams while I'm waiting in the car because I've got 50 minutes. So I might as well spend it with you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for asking that. Yeah, I got that idea from someone else that I saw who did a lot of um, live stream. It was actually um, kind of a celebrity, so she got Facebook live stream um, for business, but she got Facebook live stream way before everyone else. And so I would just follow, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. I really like that. So yeah, awesome. Hey Jerry, hey Cheris, how are you guys today? I just went through and did everything. You'll have to watch, obviously, the replay. But I do want to talk more, answer your questions. Hey, Martha. Yeah, it always takes about 15 minutes, I think, for everybody to be notified that this is going on. Um, on here, I need water real quick, guys. Sorry. And, of course, a lot of you guys are on because we have our powwow in a few minutes. Um, I was just kind of going over the different um, things I'm blogging. I'm saying I'm um, a lot. I'm in the middle of recording the videos for the five day get your blog on blog challenge that I'm going to be reopening next week. It's free. Uh, I just wanted to really, I'm starting to record the videos and so I, oh yeah, you guys sent me these questions. Let's go through them. So that's what I've been doing. And of course I'm loving, hey Pete, some of you guys, this is your first time joining me on live stream. That's awesome. You guys can just type your questions in. I'm going to 
try and look it up on the computer that is behind me and see hey howdy I see it now I, I there there we go yeah I see it on the computer before I see it on the phone the computers right right there behind me because um, I have the phone on a tripod today so I see it on there first how are you guys questions thoughts anything you want me to tackle for you guys today um anything you want at all at all at all did it help that I put out the Facebook live announcement via an event did that help did you guys struggle getting on to it uh, today in the feed at all I keep looking at the computer so I can see if anybody's talking that I'm not seeing on the phone um, I'll wait till I see that oh Jerry says how do we find Facebook live to do my own live session so I would was just gonna say oh I can flip the phone around and do it for you but you can't do it on the computer so if you have an iPhone you have to have an iPhone um, if you have an iPhone then you can just go right to right inside um, let me see right inside where you're going to the I'm sorry you have to be on the Facebook app <laughs> and I can't show you this because it's on my phone so you need to be on the Facebook app and you need to click the public you go to your page sorry go to your page then click the publish button when you click the publish button you're gonna type what your topic is and then there's gonna be, I think it's four or five icons, but the very last icon is going to be, I wonder if they show, yeah, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Hi, just a minute guys, let me let me switch this camera real quick. And let me see if I can control this. See this little red button like that? Okay, it's not going to be within your publish, but it will be gray and look just like that. It has the head with the little circle things like that. So when you find that, and after you typed in your thing, you click that, and what it'll do, it, it's gonna go live for you. If you have anything other than an iPhone, you probably don't have Facebook Live yet, unless you're a celebrity. And if you're a celebrity, then you've had it for a while. <laughs> so um, hopefully that helped, Jerry. I hope you, I, I don't, I can do a, I did a screenshot of it, and I can show you in the group, uh, just a screenshot, but I can't physically show you on video because I'm using the camera. Um, all right. So Chara said the event was very helpful. Okay. I will try to remember to do the events. Chara's on there. Hi, Mar uh, Mari. Thank you for joining. Pete's been busy, busy, busy working on four transactions today. Coffee is for closers. <laughs> okay. So I am not a coffee drinker, Pete. Chuck is a coffee drinker. I think it's like, um, his lifeblood. So, um, but I'm all about not drinking coffee. I don't drink any caffeine whatsoever. I don't need it. I am insane crazy as it is. Hey, Mar Mari. Um, I'm insane crazy and have so much energy as it is. It's just like, ah. <laughs> I think I'd be, I think I'd be, I don't know what I'd be if I had, um, uh, coffee. I have no idea. Um, I'm not even going to try it. Anyway, um, let's see what else can I answer for you guys? I've got a few more minutes before I have to prep for the mastermind power. I'm excited for the mastermind power today, guys. All my members are on today, so you can't really see this, but this is the mastermind powwow, and we're gonna go deep. I know um, we're gonna go deeper on page likes, and I know people are like, oh, page likes, but we're gonna go deeper on, you know, after you have 500 or a few hundred page likes, what do you do next? How do you leverage them? How do you take advantage of them? Should I change my ads? Um, how do I do that? I'm going to show you all that today. So we're going to go into it. We're going to talk about vetting your likes. We're going to talk about your budget, how to raise it and lower it so that you don't throw yourself out of the algorithm. We're going to talk about ad results and how to analyze those. We're going to talk about um, double checking your ads and making sure that you're excluding fans from your ads and um, changing your ads. Now you're gonna change your targeting a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to change that to get it going and to leverage what you've already got going. So we've, we've got, we got a lot going. <laughs> we got a lot going. And of course I have the blogging class cl coming up. The mini blogging challenge is gonna be, I'm doing videos today and it's gonna be a free challenge. I'm gonna open it up. I'm actually gonna use it um, as a mini course or a mini challenge course um, as my lead magnet basically to bring people into my community but it's it's centered around questions that they're asking and then it's going to lead into the opportunity for them to actually take the full blogging course 
And of course, if you're one of my paid FBLG spring students, so you 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 bought the spring um, 2016 FBLG, then you get the blogging course for free. And if you're an FDS member, I always have awesome opportunities for you guys. So I'll give you guys more of that stuff inside the membership. Any other questions, you guys? Like, let's see. Um, I know you guys have questions because you asked me questions like mad. Any other, anything else? I see all kinds of notifications. I can't look at them. I'm just looking at the, the post on Facebook itself. Um, what else, guys? I know you're here. Tell me. Tell me. For um, those of you who are FDS members, I think everybody is on here um, so far. I have probably some people that are watching it that I can't see. But, um, tell, oh wait, Charis is asking, is there any way to convince clients that Zestimates aren't 100% accurate? Yes, there is. You're not gonna like my answer. <laughs> you have to build a know, like, and trust relationship before they're gonna believe you. And the way to do that is to prove your metal over and over again through blog posts, through video, through et cetera. And even then people are gonna struggle because they keep hearing all kinds of places about different things. Hold that thought. For example, no matter how much I teach page likes and how much I say, guys, get rid of the detrimental page likes. I mean, I put articles out there all over Inman, all over my site. I have trainings on it. No matter how much I teach it and explain and do the reasoning, there's a mental barrier. There's a mental block because real estate agents have been told, at all, oh, it's not just agents, it's industries everywhere. Um, they've been told, no, you need to exposure and branding and get everybody out there and get all these. You might miss a referral. You might want to do this, da, 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 da. So we have this limiting belief um, that if we, because we've been told one way, we've kind of limited our beliefs and what the reality is. So, um, so that's, you know, you have to just, you got to keep building the relationship and you have to keep developing more trust. So even though people hear me teach that they come in on that, it speaks a little bit of truth to them, but they're afraid to leave the dock where everyone else is standing and it's sinking by the way, cause it's full of crap. Um, excuse me. So they're afraid to just go out in the boat where I'm at and you're out in a, a big, huge lake where there's no competition. So you gotta, once that mindset jump and once that leap is made, it's a whole different story. And it's made usually after people have watched several things that I've been teaching, been to some of my trainings, read more, I'm consistent, I show proof, I show why, I teach why, and what's happening is the um, business worldwide, uh, there are some people that are starting to show that yes, this is in fact true. This is what you should be doing. This is why page reach has dropped. This is why engagement has dropped. This is why you're struggling using Facebook for your business. Um, so it's coming out and I'm not the only voice out there now anymore. So that helps. And I, uh, you, the chairs, some of the, what you're struggling with is that there's a lot of agents telling people that they're inaccurate, but people don't believe agents because we have an agenda or so they think. So you just have to keep proving that character over and over again. Uh, Catherine says, can't wait for the powwow. I know I'm very excited for the powwow. Blogging class for, class for past students too. The blogging class um, that I'm creating will be available, um, but it's the bonus for FBLG st um, spring students. It's their bonus. So the past FBLG students and FDS students are going to have a special deal on that. So um, it'll be available, but there'll be special, super special deal on that. Okay, so Mary McIntosh says, should we ask past clients to like our town page? You mean your business page, Facebook business page, right? I didn't convert, I started new. Okay, so you started a brand new page. If you wanna ask your past clients to like it, you are welcome to. The problem with asking people to like your Facebook business page, they one, they feel obligated, to, and so they do it. 
Um, you don't want likes just to get likes. You want people to want to come over and like your page and you want them to want to explore it. So when you're asking somebody to like it, they're just doing it out of obligation for you to you. So I really hesitate in saying, ask people to like your page. You want to um, offer it and it, and you know, like I said, the page like ads, um, give them the opportunity to willingly come over. And I know you're not forcing them to like it, but when you ask, it's like an obligation thing. So, because you want people who are, are going to be engaged on your page. You want people who are going to take action. So when you, like I said, you don't want to, you don't want to do it as an obligation. You don't want them to respond in an obligation manner. You want them to respond with a, Oh yes, I want to do this. Um, in a proactive, not reactive way. So I would say no, not at this point. It's going to be expanded. And what's going to happen is you'll start creating a tidal wave because then your past clients will see it or you'll put something on your page about them, uh, maybe a congratulations and share a picture of them. And then you'll, they'll want to take, you know, you want to share that with them on their profile. Um, and then you're going to also, you know, just say, hey, tag yourself if you want to show your friends. That's the way you want to do it. Um, cause they'll go, Oh yeah, I want to like that. Oh, I want to brag about this or I want to show that. So there is a way for those to get them to be willingly, to be proactively wanting to be part of your page, not reactively. Hopefully that made sense. I don't know how long you can, um, live stream either guys. I just was on one with, um, Mari, I can't, uh, Mari, Mari Smith. Um, and she thought that there was a 30 minute maximum time length. And for some reason, I don't think I've ever run into that. Um, I don't know if I've ever been on longer, but we're at 26 and a half minutes. So we'll see if it goes longer. Do you have any questions? Any other questions? These have been great. I love these questions. Love them. They're fabulous, fantabulous. Anyone? Anyone? I'm not seeing quote oh, there. Pete said Gary V did it for eight hours, didn't he? You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm, didn't he do an all day thing, Pete? He might've, or he might've gone on and off and on and off and on and off. I don't know. I have no idea. I thought I heard that he was um, live streaming something all day, but again, I don't follow every, I mean, I don't follow everything everywhere and you guys don't have to either. What's the best call to action button to use on our fan page? So, um, that depends on what you want people to do. Typically the easiest um, thing to do, typically the easiest thing to do is you know, a typical either search for homes or get your home value. And if you don't have another call to action, just get those up and use those until you d go deeper and you develop, develop another one. So I would do those. They can either sign up or they can shop. Shop is a good one for homes because um, you have there's like six or seven options, verbiage options. You can't change it that you have. So I just get something up. Don't worry about how perfect it is. Get that up. And then as we go deeper in the trainings or you get into a Facebook lead generator, I'm going to give you other tips, um, that you can use to, um, get, uh, get a higher converting lead magnet. Yeah, probably on book launch day. You're right, Pete. And I wasn't watching that all whole thing. I, you know, I actually have a business I have to run, so I didn't get to watch it all. So, um, love that shop for homes. Yeah. Shop for homes. It's nice and easy. So, um, yeah, today's, I'm excited about today's mastermind and, and you guys will, of course, as you get this, you will get the, um, it'll be turned into a PDF for you. So you'll have, it's just my notes, but you'll have a PDF for that. Um, and it's probably plan on about 90 minutes. You guys, I think it's going to go cause I'm going to walk you through, how to um, change your ads and um, how to re recenter your targeting a little bit on it. There are some new features that are available for these kind of ads, um, et cetera. So we're gonna go through all that. So are we, are we good? I wanna hop off. I need to do a couple little things real quick before the mastermind in a half an hour. But if you guys don't know what it is, if some of you guys are watching this, Facebook Domination Secret is my membership program and my members, which is most of the people that are typing on here, my members and I all have a mastermind today at one o'clock Pacific and we do that twice a month. And that's why I keep talking about, you know, the mastermind powwow. So if you want to be part of that, go to leadsandleverage.com slash FDS and you can 
join us. Um, if you get in there quick enough, you could join us today. Um, the next one is the first full week of April. Wow. I was a month off. I was thinking it was March and May. I was like skipping April for some reason. I have no idea why. So anyway, awesome. We're, I, you know, I'm going to go like two more minutes because I want to see if this is going to go longer than the 30 minutes. I think it is. I think I've gone just slightly longer than 30 minutes before, but, um, Oh, what else could I hit on for you guys? Um, uh, I don't know what else I could hit on for you guys, but now we're like over 30 minutes. So I guess there is not a 30 minute deadline on this. All right, I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later. I will see most of you um, in about 27 minutes at FDS, uh, the Mastermind Power. Talk to you later, guys. Have a good afternoon.